So welcome to your second Java programming tutorial and in this tutorial I'm basically going to be teaching you how to write your first Java program and I'll also be showing you how to compile it so that you can actually run it and I'll show you that later. So here I've got Notepad++ open and as I said in the previous tutorial this is what I recommend you to use and if you haven't watched the previous tutorial then you need to watch that to be able to, to um, install Java and everything. So here I have it, it's just a blank file and what I like to do is before I start programming is I prefer to save it first. So just go to save as. I'm sure you guys know how to save. And then what I prefer to do is go into your main C drive and create a folder here called Oh my computer's being slow. Create a new folder called Java. Oops underscore files so just like that and the reason I'm doing it in the C drive by the way is because that's the root directory of my computer so what they'll be able to do is I will be able to in the command line because we've got to be able to navigate to this file in the command line I will be able to just find it easily without having to navigate through all my files so I recommend you to do this inside of your C drive but just make a folder in there don't put it loosely in your C drive and then in here let me just drag this up so you can see it. In here, what we're going to call this is hello.java. And you can leave this as .txt as long as you put this .java at the end, then that'll be fine. And I don't know why I did, did that in capitals. So if you save that, we are in. Jo um, this is now Notepad will organize this as it's Java. You see, Java source file. So anything I type will be highlighted in the correct colouring. So now that we've got that out of the way, what we want to do now is actually start coding it. So the first thing that we have in a Java program is class. And we're going to give this class a name. And the class should be the same as your name of the file. So you see I did hello with a capital H. Um, but just leave out the dot Java. So we do class hello, so that's what we're naming the class. And then we do these curly bracket things. I have no idea what those are called. And then inside here we just do a tab. And then we do public static. Oops. Static void. And then main. This is it's also a good idea that you you memorize this by the way, since you will be using this a lot. I can never remember it. And then ogs. And uh, by the way, there are two spaces here. Just remember that. If you don't put those spaces, you will get an error. Okay, so now under this, we're also going to put two curly brackets. And I'll explain this now. So don't worry, obviously, you probably don't know what all of this is. So this class hello, it's basically everything goes inside this class. And I spelled main here wrong. Everything goes inside this class. Nothing goes. Oops. Nothing goes out here. It all goes in between those curly brackets. And then here is public static void main. Now you don't really need to know what, what this is at the moment. Basically all I want you to know at the moment is this main. Main is like the first thing that we run when we run this program. So Java is pre-configured to say okay First, you're going to run the main um, method, and then th at the end of that method, it will tell you what to do. Then it will tell you to close it. It will tell you to move on to onto another method. It will do something like that. Don't really worry about that for now. So, for now, everything that we're doing is going to go in between these curly brackets here. We just do a tab then. So, all we want to do is print a line out on the screen, and don't forget this is a command line. So, a command line is basically this if you didn't know so this is our command line and that's where we'll, how we'll be compiling it and everything later so to write out a message what we do is system oops I can't spell system dot out don't really worry about the system um, out it's an output so it's displaying text on the screen so displaying text on the screen or making a sound it, that's all an output but an input would be if we press a button on the keyboard or 
remove the mouse, something like that. So system dot out dot print. Now oh, you can probably hear um, thunder. So system dot out dot print. If we do dot print, it will basically. Let me open a new uh, thing. If we tell it to print hello, hello like that, and then afterwards we sell it, we tell it to print um, goodbye. It will print it all like that if we use um, system dot out dot print. But if we want this to go like that, then we have to use system dot out dot print ln for print line, and basically it will do that. And then in brackets here, and then speech marks in between that, you put the text. So I'm going to do hello world, since this is what you always do on the first thing in the programming language. And then, as always in Java, you must put a semicolon at the end of it. And there's our first Java program written, so just save that. Control and S. I'm going to close that. So now we need to actually compile this. So we have this hello.java here. And then here we just do cd backslash. And you see, cd backslash, it was in my home directory, so that there is your username and then underneath um, underneath that you have you know my documents all of that that's where it was but if you do cd backslash it takes you right to the beginning of the path which is a c colon slash now you don't really need to worry about this this is just navigating through a command prompt but this is um, the c drive so the main local hard drive so here we create a folder called java underscore files so we're going to do cd for change directory space java underscore files and you see now we're in that path so now what we're going to do is java java c uh, so java compile space and then the file that we want to compile and that is hello.java and I wish I could expand the uh, sizes so I'll zoom in on this so java c hello.java and now this will actually compile hello.java and when it comes back to this it's compiled so I'm gonna go into my C drive now just to show you something so you see in my java underscore files I'm gonna zoom in there we now have two files we have the hello dot we have the hello dot class which is now just compiled before it was just hello.java this one here but now it's compiled a hello.class and that is the one that we can actually run from inside the command line so now to run it all we do is java so just java and then hello.class oh no sorry we do java and then hello just like that you don't need to do the dot class it's very important and you see it says hello world so sorry about that mistake there and this is our program here so you see we told it to write hello world and it printed it here by the way if it didn't compile properly if it gave you a message saying fail to co compile it should tell you a line like a line number w where there was an issue if it failed to co compile make sure you check it against this and when I get my website sorted out all of the code will be on my website so on the video page for on my website it will have all of the code underneath it so if you've I don't know if you've forgotten a space here or something you'll be able to compare that against my website so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found this useful and I will see you in the next tutorial